In today's video, we are going to talk about how do we sort data in ascending and descending order in Strata. So particularly, we are going to talk about the sort command and the gsort command. So let's get started. Let's import a data set. We have this auto data. And let me, for the sake of uh, understanding, uh, let's work with the data view. So, uh, so, so the command that we use to sort data is called uh, sort, S-O-R-T. And the syntax is simple. We write the name, the command, and then uh, a list of variables or a single variable, whichever the case may be. So in this case, first I would start with a single variable. So we write the command name and we want to sort this price. So what this would do, it would sort it in uh, ascending order, starting with the lowest value and moving towards the highest value. Uh, let me show that to you, right? So the highest is 15906 and the lowest is 3291. We can also use multiple uh, variables. So we, we can sort based on foreign and price. And what that would do is it would first uh, club the domestic cars, right? And within domestic car, uh, it would uh, sort the uh, data on the basis of prices. Uh, and then the second group, which is the foreign cars. And then again, they would be sorted based on price. Okay, so let me execute this command. And we can see we have these domestic cars and this, the lowest price for domestic car is 3291 and the highest price for domestic car is 3, uh, 15906. And then we have uh, foreign cars. So the lowest price for foreign car is this one and the highest price is 12990, right? So uh, it, to, to, to better give you an idea, uh, let's use rep78 repair variable and then sort um, uh, using uh, the weight. So it would first sort based on the repair variable, right? So the starting from the lowest and moving toward the highest value. And then within each group of repair variable, it would sort based on a weight. So within this, this group where the car is repaired twice, it is sorted uh, based on weight from lowest to highest. So you can use as many number of variables as you want. There isn't any, any, any limit to that. Let's understand what this stable option means within Stata. And before that, let's, let me show you the, uh, the help window of uh, the sort command. Uh, so let's go to command view, uh, help sort. So uh, sort, we are list, we can also use in uh, qualifier and then we have this uh, stable option. So uh, let me again go to the data view so that I can demonstrate what this table option does. And before that, let me um, re-import the data so we have the fresh copy without any sorting. Okay. So let's sort based on uh, a repair variable, just the repair variable. So we have um, the, the first, uh, so you can see that those cars that have only one repairs, they are at the top and then we have, but, but within these cars, how, within this specific group, how, should this row come first or should this row come first? I mean, within this repair, the, these repair groups, uh, these rows are sorted randomly, right? So let me again import. So you can see that uh, when the repair, this third row is the car whose price is 6342. And just remember that. And let me re-import the data again. And again, sort it based on price. And now you would see that the third car is um, the one whose price is 14,500. So this is a different car. And the last time the car we saw is somewhere over here, right? Uh, so if you were to delete, let's just say, if you were to do it like this, drop uh, in three. So each time it would drop it, 
a different row that because it would be a different row over here and to give you a better idea let me show this from the main pdf uh, help file uh, this is the pdf help file uh, for uh, for sort command and over here you would see that whenever we run sort this is our main data each time we execute the sort without this table option it would have uh, you know different uh, sorting on b so if we sort on x so the x would always have one would always be at top but within one uh, you can see that the column b is having a different ordering right different sorting and if if we didn't want it that we wanted to have exactly same rows uh, each time then we would have to use this stable option and let me go to the data view let's use sort let's execute this so that we have a fresh copy because data remembers the sorting and let's sort on stable so now the third row that we have is 14500 and let's let's again uh, you know uh, import a fresh copy and do this sort repair 78 stable the third row would remain the same no matter how many times we use the sorting so this is what the stable option would do okay uh, remember that uh, from the help menu we saw that we can use in so if you just wanted to sort let's just say uh, sort rep 78 or let's just say this time sort price in a one to five so it would just sort the um, the the rows that are from one to five right so only these rows are sorted the rest are unsorted so you can use in uh, qualifier if you want to use but sort would always sort in ascending order what if you wanted to uh, do descending order this is where g sort would come in and that is the limitation of sort command um, so so what g sort by default would do it would always sort using ascending order so if we sort price it would always sort on ascending order and you can have multiple variables as with the sort but the thing with g sort is if you use the negative sign then it would uh, sort in descending order so g sort minus price would sort price on descending order and if you were to use different variables you can have different sortings so if we wanted to sort uh, in ascending order based on repair variable but the price variable should be in descending order then we can uh, do that using so so the repair variable is in ascending order one two three four five but within each group of repair variable the price is in descending order right so if within the group 2 the highest price is 14500 and then we move towards the lowest and then we have the group 3 now uh, g sort have some uh, options that can come in handy if we we wanted to also generate a variable that would uh, say uh, contain the sorting of the data then we can use generate uh, option within g sort and within the parenthesis we can give any name that we want the new variable to have so uh, g sort repair 78 and then generate r so it would contain the uh, the uh, serial number for each group so this is the first group it would have a serial number of one but in this case it happens to be exactly same as the repair variable uh, but you would see from the missing values it have a group of six because these are different set of values um, if i were to demonstrate using g sort uh, say uh, mileage comma generate uh, m so uh, we have sorting based on mileage and these two would have a same uh, group uh, within this newly generated variable so this is just a group identifier and if you didn't want it to do it using the sort variable you could also have done it using the egen command so let's generate a new variable rgen and 
within the agent we could have used group repair 78 and this would have given us uh, let me sort on repair 78 this would have given us exactly the same so you can compare the r and the r e gen col columns and uh, the group function does the same job but the only thing is that it for the missing value it wouldn't assign any any group okay so uh, then we have m first which stands for uh, missing first so if we were to uh, simply sort uh, in descending order based on repair variable it would start with the f the uh, you know the highest value within the repair ignoring the missing values so remember we have the missing values but somehow we wanted to sort in descending order and we wanted the missing values to be at the top then we would use the m first option but if we were to sort an ascending order and if we use the missing uh, first option m first option it won't make a difference right the missing would always be at the lowest because uh, for stata these missing uh, you know it assign stata assigns the highest value to these missing values so that was uh, regarding sort and g sort and uh, maybe in our next video we would discuss uh, another useful command which is order thanks for watching the video and this uh, do file uh, if you wanted to download this do file the link for this do file is given in the description um, thank you for watching this video